Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Uh, this is another spring themed journal. I'm calling it Spring is in the Air um, because all my other journals have just been called Spring Watercolour or Spring Whatever. So I thought I'd title it something else. Um, I have actually used the Spring Watercolour from a uh, digital kit from Artines, which I will link below. Um, I have got a fabric cover on this as well and um, it measures eight and a quarter by four and three quarters has one signature 40 pages front and back and it will be listed in my shop if you're interested now with this um well in the inside i've done a lot of gessoing and spraying and all the pages um which took quite a long time to dry and obviously i've had a bit of a um, exciting week my grandson uh, came on uh early hours no it was wednesday evening yes because um we took her to the hospital um really early on uh wednesday morning and yeah he came uh wednesday evening so it's been a little bit of a kind of roller coaster last few days um and he's absolutely gorgeous so anyway back to the journal um i just made a simple topper <coughs> excuse me and it's it was actually going to be a tag um and i've just used it as the topper it's got uh, all elements from the spring watercolour kit and this is from one of Artie Maisie's kits I think it's the Oddment kit and this is from um, the number and label kit I think I think I think uh, it's all been stitched around the edge and I've used the bonus pages with this kit which is the Traveller's Notebook size um, obviously it comes in a full size as well the inside is just uh, coffee dyed and this is the front page beautiful pages then here um, is a little tuck and as you can see all the coffee dye and the gesso the sprays I use like a blue spray and a yellow spray they're handmade sprays um, using acrylic paints uh, some water and a little a little drop of um, alcohol and here we've got some music paper, a ticket from Artie Maisie's, um, I think that's the number and label kit, and a butterfly from the watercolour kit. And on the backs of all the um, journal cards, I've done all the spraying as well. Um, so that was, that was fun to see, because obviously everything's going to be different, isn't it, with all the coffee dyeing and the spraying. So it's a tag from the kit postcard from the kit little double journal card there love the markings on that just going to check that i'm in frame i am uh, here we have again the gesso and the sprays uh, two journal cards from the kit that one actually hasn't got the sprays on it because that had been uh, left over from something else well from one of the spring kits and that's that page the envelope there there's nothing in the envelope so I was actually going to put these inside but I just thought I would tuck them there instead so that all pops in there so using the um, gesso and the sprays it really gives it a really nice texture um, some crocheted trim here and the colors came out quite well actually with the sprays that I have and then here we have a pocket that's from the kit, another tag from the kit, and that's all been gessoed and sprayed as well. So I'll have these. And that goes in there. Little cluster. This was um, just a tag that I'd made. Again, done all the sprays on the back as well. Uh, some music paper there and these two are from the kit this was one of the journal cards and I just actually I cut it down I didn't shrink it down I just cut it to be obviously that thin uh, this is a freebie from RT Mays and that could possibly be a freebie I'm not 100% sure that's just paper clipped on then these I've actually had these for quite a while and I've got a lot of other stuff it was just messing around one day just rolling on acrylic paints and gessoing and stuff so i finally got to use some of them i've got envelopes and journal cards as well made up 
So these were actually inspired by RTAs and then I've just sprayed, actually sporged on the back of that. Um, just done some stamping. There's a Tim Holtz flower thing there. Butterfly from the kit. That's from the kit. I think that's a freebie. And then some sari silk there. And that's the markings on that page. Then there is a that page. Then, oops, a little bit of fluff. Uh, this is just an envelope that's been coffee dyed, uh, sprayed, gessoed, stamped. And that's one of the pages from the kit and I just shrunk it down. And that's it's actually opened at the back and it's opened there as well. So that you can see a little butterfly poking out there. Some more crocheted trim. The centre of the signature and done a double tuck there and the postcards here are from the kit i think that is from the kit but i have got a big envelope full of um, spring themed um, pages and ephemera so i'm not 100 percent if that is from that kit or not these have all been sprayed on the back as well and then two tags again they've been sprayed and gessoed do love the feeling of that <clears throat> And then just two stenciled, I had them on my stash already, stenciled coffee dyed tags. And they go in there. I'm not sure if you can see the um, sprays on there. Another corner tuck. Again, the sprays on all the pages. Uh, that's been gessoed and sprayed. What I did, what I did, I coffee dyed them all first, then I gessoed them, and then I just sprayed on the backs of them all. Double journal cards and another one of these tags again spraying on the back and again that was just trimmed right down not shrunk down trimmed down and this is a freebie from Marty Mays and I think that is as well and then that's another tag using again inspired by Artie Mays I think it was one of her Try Tuesdays possibly. Um, again, just uh, that's actually a stamp, and the script stamp, Tim Holtz flower butterfly, and the word blissful, and another little cluster there, a pocket here with a tag. It's quite a lot of yellow on that page, and a postcard. And a journal card. And some more spraying on there. And then here we have a, po uh, not a postcard, an envelope. There's nothing in the envelope because there is a little journal card the other side that can be put in there. That's just fell out. And again, that's been gessoed and sprayed. There's a lot of yellow on that page as well. And there's quite a lot of yellow on that envelope too which again coffee dyed gessoed sprayed and stamped and then another tag which is one of the pages shrunk down and that is the back so that is the journal so if you're interested in this it will be listed in my shop um, Hopefully I'll get a little bit more time next week to um, craft because I've been too busy like seeing the baby. Um, I'm going to see the baby in a little bit today and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So like I said, if you have any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.